Right, so what Penton Bowick et al. did was to use a state change design to show the effect of clicks on the internal clock. Okay, so what they did, they used several different experiments in the paper, um, but uh, the, the one I'm going to talk about now is temporal generalisation. Okay, um, I'm not going to go into great detail about the technique, um, I might save that for another webcast, um, so if you're not sure, go back and have a look at your lecture notes. Um, but basically they use this state change design, okay, so if you remember in temporal generalisation, what we do is we give people a standard, so say a 400 millisecond tone, and we give them this three times, so please listen to this tone, please remember this tone, this tone is a standard tone, and then we give them some comparison durations. And these comparison durations are either the same length as this standard, or they're shorter, or they're longer. And after each um, comparison duration, people are asked, was that the same duration as the standard, yes or no? And if you remember, if I can find my eraser, if you remember, um, what you end up with, with the data, is a temporal generalisation gradient, okay? So, we have here how often they say yes, and here we have the comparison duration. Okay, so going from short here to long here, and just here is when it actually is the same duration as the standard, and you get something like this. Okay, so obviously they say yes the most often when the comparison you give them actually is equal to the standard, when it's really much shorter or much longer then they hardly ever say yes, and when it's somewhere in between then it's somewhere in between. Um, so what Penton et al. did was to use a state change design within temporal generalisation. Okay, so when they gave him the standard, they proceeded. Um, sorry, when they gave him the standard duration, that was in the no click condition, and then they gave it before the comparison durations, they received clicks. Okay, so they're getting the comparisons in one state and the standard in a different state. Okay, so they're comparing their um, elongated perception of comparisons with their normal perception of the standard. Okay, and what happens is in in this condition is the function gets shifted in this direction. Basically, the comparison doesn't need to be as long for them to say that it's equal to the standard. Okay, because you you have um, made the subjective duration of the comparison longer, so it doesn't need to be as long before they start saying yes. Okay, so um, it's a good idea to go back and read the Penton Bower paper or read it for the first time if you've not read it yet. Um, but that's how you employ a state change design. So hopefully that, that's made some things clearer. Um, okay, so that's the end of my first webcast. Um, I please welcome some feedback, send me some comments, um, different ways we can improve it, um, and tell me whether it's useful or not and whether it's answered your questions. Okay, thank you.